Hey, future Wildcats, it's me, Miss Carter, and I will be your school counselor for the seventh and eighth grade. I am looking forward to meeting all of you and helping you as you transition into junior high. And I will also be there to help you as you transition into high school. Today, I will be presenting a slideshow that will go into more depth about Orange Park Junior High and what to expect. Also covering the elective courses that you will be able to sign up and take next year. First, I want to introduce you to some staff that you will be frequently acquainted with while you are at Orange Park Junior High. First, we have Mr. Faulkner, who is our principal. We have assistant principals, Mr. Freeman and Ms. Tucker, and we have Ms. Hayes, who is the Dean of Students. We have Ms. Goodman, who is the eighth grade counselor, Ms. Kivett, the Director of Counseling, and then of course myself, Ms. Carter, seventh grade school counselor. So oh, what is new about the routine at Orange Park Junior High versus now being in elementary school? Well, there are a few changes, especially to your schedule. The first one being that you will attend six classes throughout the day with different teachers. Secondly, there are different lunch periods. So there's an A lunch, there's a B lunch, and a C lunch. So what will a normal day look like for a seventh grader? So you will come to school and it will be before 925. And when you get to school, you will go to the cafeteria. Once you are in the cafeteria, you can have breakfast, you can meet with friends, and then the first bell will ring. That will be at 925 in the morning. And then you will go directly to your first period class. Once you are in class, the bell will ring at 930 in the morning and this will be the start of the school day. The school day ends at 342. What courses can you choose when making your schedule in junior high? You can choose your elective courses, which are two classes. The other classes are required core classes, which are your math, language arts, social studies, and science. Your electives can either be a year-long elective or a semester-long elective. Here are some semester-long electives that you can choose from. There is art, culinary arts, intro to tech, business keyboarding, careers in education, PE, ceramics, speech and debate. Are there any new rules or guidelines to the way that junior high does things and elementary does? Well, for the most part, no. Behavior and respect are still expected of every student. There are some small changes in dress code, but other than that, the biggest change is you don't have to walk in a straight line when you're going from class to class. Dress code expectations are very similar to elementary school. Students cannot wear ripped jeans, short shorts, short skirts, short dresses, bandanas or hats, sleeveless shirts, tank tops, low cut shirts, crop tops, and sagging pants. You can in junior high, however, wear different colored hair, different colored highlights, different shoes. So wearing flip flops, sandals, the best practice in all honesty, if you feel like when you're leaving the house, should I wear this or should I not? If there's any type of doubt, then you probably shouldn't wear it. Attendance, as always, is very important. You're learning something new every single day while you're in school. So having good attendance lets you not miss something very important and lets you keep your grades in a good place. Grades are also very important when you are in junior high. You have to be accountable for your grades, and that means checking your grades often, 
making sure to write down any assignments that you may have during the week. Make sure you turn in your assignments. Don't have a zero way bad on your grade just because you did the work but didn't turn it in. So outside of taking elective courses, there are a number of activities at Orange Park Junior High that you can take, like the academic team, math team, National Junior Honor Society, robotics team, drama club, and several sports that you can sign up throughout the year to participate in. A special part of Orange Park Junior High is the Orange Park Junior High robotics team. The robotics team is composed of 15 students that will compete in Northeast Florida for a robot competition. The team will design and create their own robot and battle them out at the end of the year. If you are interested in this type of activity, then please reach out to Coach Hare for an application as limited spots are available each year. Orange Park Junior High has several student athletes every year. Becoming involved in a sport is a great way to make friends and connections in your school. If you're interested in participating in a sport, then please be prepared to have a sports physical ready and turned into the athletic department as they will need this before you even try out for a sport. Staying connected with your middle school as you approach the upcoming school year will offer you free information on upcoming events like the free sport physicals that will be done at Orange Park High School on April 17th. So please just follow along with your middle school to be informed about any upcoming events that could offer you uh, free sport physicals or any other resources you may need in the upcoming school year. Part of us staying connected is to follow us on social media. So we have a Facebook page for Orange Park Junior High that you can follow the school for any upcoming news or information. Following us on Twitter for any kind of news or updates. Of course, there is the Wong Clay website for Orange Park Junior High, which has the school calendar, upcoming events, bell schedule, and any other important information you may need. Orange Park Junior High Counseling Team has an Instagram page with inspirational quotes and messages that we post throughout the week. And of course, Miss Carter has a seventh grade Google Classroom where you can follow me for updates and important information that I push out to all of my upcoming seventh graders. I really hope you enjoyed this presentation and I really look forward to seeing you next year as seventh graders at Orange Park Junior High. Go Wildcats!